away. Monday to Friday at 12.30 p.m. Only on Bloomberg Quint. Hello and welcome to Hot Money on Bloomberg Quint Live, India's first digital live streaming business news service. This is a show which gets you a complete trap of all the stocks that are buzzing in trade. I'm Darshan Mehta. Let's welcome our experts then. Gaurav Bissa of LKP Securities, Dhyaneshwar Padwal of KIFS Securities and Rajesh Bhatia of Deal Money Security join us on the show. Thank you to all three for joining me on the show. Before we take the guest technical call, let's go across to Jayesh Khilnani who tells us about the pattern that the Bloomberg terminal has thrown up on Cipla. So Jayesh, uh, what is uh, the chart indicating? So, Dashan, uh, there's a buy signal as far as uh, the moving average convergence divergence uh, indicator is actually concerned. Uh, that's the last uh, you know uh, year-to-date chart of uh, CIPLA. But uh, the moving average convergence divergence uh, primarily focuses on two lines, which is the MACD line and the signal line. Now, a crossover between the two lines gives you a buy signal and a sell signal depending on the direction of crossover. And the bottom panel will actually show you that. So, what you actually have is that if you see uh, uh, just you know as of today the blue line has in fact crossed above the white line which makes it a positive uh, crossover and you know we will have a buy signal over here uh, but important to note is the price uh, performance as well so that's what I was referring to so you can see whenever there is a crossover uh, you know prices move in those direction now if we go back to the chart of uh, CIPLA the price movement you will see and you know that has in fact uh, inched higher as well so you see whenever uh, in the month of June, uh, there was a crossover and you saw the price move from about uh, less than 550 levels to more than uh, about 650 levels and so on and so forth. So, you know, uh, at the moment, there is a buy signal for SIPLA. And historically also, Dashan, it's worked well. Um, in the last one year, if you'd bought all the indications, net profit would have been nearly 20%. Okay, so that's a big move that potentially could come in in SIPLA. We'll ask a guess at this point of time. Uh, Gaurav, I'll start with you. Uh, it, it's been a pharma day today. Most of the pharma stocks are doing well. Supply itself is up almost 9 rupees. Uh, is there more potential upside on supply if someone wants to take a call at this point of time? Good afternoon, Darshan. There's a certainly a chance uh, if you look at the, if you compare the movement that you have seen in other major pharma names, we have seen strong rally coming in. Some of them have participated quite strongly. Uh, Cipla for one has been trading between the range and it's now come out of the range above 635, 640. So there's a chance that it can move another 7 to 8 uh, percent okay. from the current prices. Uh, one can keep a stop loss of 3 4 percent from the current levels. I think there's a good case uh, that we can see in Cipla. Long portions are also seen getting built. There's a good chance that we may see some more upside in Cipla in coming days. Okay, so it's the first positive that's coming in from Gaurav Bissa. So uh, the Bloomberg terminal says buy, Gaurav also says buy. Uh, what does Dhyanesh have to say on Cipla? Yeah, good afternoon, Darshan. Uh, if you look at the overall charge structure of Cipla, uh, mainly on the monthly chart, so we have seen that the uh, Cipla is unfolded into the corrective pattern. And when you know the uh, correction has been completed, and recent moves suggest that the renewed strength is clearly observed on the monthly chart. So uh, I could personally feel that the current market price should be the great buying opportunity, and traders should keep a stop loss of 620 uh, for an initial leg of up move towards the uncharted territory. Okay, so, so third positive call coming in on uh, Cipla. Will it be four on four? Uh, Rajesh? Good, good afternoon. Uh, what are, what's your view on Cipla? Afternoon, Darshan. Yeah, I, even I agree with the Cipla that uh, one should aggressively look for longs. A uh, couple of things. Uh, first, if you look at the monthly charts, so last uh, couple of months, the volume has been very, very strong uh, comparing uh, it is baking out of the range. Uh, the only uh, short term uh, minor resistance, I think, is around 690 levels uh, where I think uh, the rising channel is being placed. So that might act as a slight resistance, but overall, if you want to look for three to six months point of view, it's uh, clear a buy. Okay, okay. Uh, you want to say something else? Okay, uh, so that's the view that's coming in on Cipla at this point of time. Positive views, probably a little bit of resistance that probably will come in at uh, the 690 levels, but nevertheless, uh, it's a positive view on Cipla. But let's get on uh, and discuss the stocks that our experts have to say with us. The first stock is uh, REC and Gaurav has uh, the chart. We can, let's pull up the chart. Uh, Gaurav, if you can join me here. Uh, and uh, tell us what's uh, the bet that uh, someone has to play on REC. Well, explain us the chart. If you see the chart, uh, it has given a strong yearly uh, downward sloping channel pattern breakout that we are seeing over here. We are yet to see a weekly close today, but in all probabilities, we are going to see a close above this particular white line, which generally indicates that a lot of selling that it has seen, the correction it has seen, it might get arrested over here. 
not a very significantly beautiful chart, uh, I would say, uh, flag pattern, but a small bullish flag is seen in weekly charts as well over here. So there are two patterns. A smaller pattern, I would say, that is over here, a bullish flag pattern, that would give you uh, a 340 target of 125. But if you look at the entire pattern from here, the chart pattern suggests that there can be a target price of 135 to 140 that we can see in a month. Uh, one can keep a trailing, uh, one can keep a stop loss of uh, 112, 113, which comes to on this particular line. And we have already seen uh, a bullish MHC crossover a couple of weeks back. So the moment is quite strong position seen getting built uh, there's breakout in, on the card so I think there's a good cocktail that one can look at it and the power sector as a whole is seeing some amount of uh, uh, you know euphism you know euphoria that is building up mm. I think this can take it towards the low of 135 so my, my first question is uh, the, the close has to be about this white line this white line probably will be somewhere around 112 113 and that's yes. your stop loss it is no it's not stop loss it's going to come around 115 114 115 kind of levels and as I said, uh, with the Nifty seeing some amount of pressure today, it is still trading near the above the breakout levels quite comfortably around 119, 120. So in all likelihood, we are going to see a close above these levels. Hmm. If at all we see, it will give a strong confirmation. Stop loss would be this particular line. It comes to around uh, uh, 112, 113 in this particular line I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, is this a very short-term strategy? Is this your play, playing it for the bounce? Or if someone has, let, let's say someone wants to buy it for the long term since the counter is corrected, then what, what strategy should he adopt probably he might buy a smaller quantity but uh, is there a is there a higher stop loss or would you uh, say a strict exit at 112 beat a long term or a short term strategy no, i would say one should have a strict stop loss for the reason that nifty is coding at uh, lifetime high levels mid cap index has already moved up 2000 points in a month or so, so there's a possibility if there's some amount of consolidation that we are seeing either in nifty or in a mid cap index it can give uh, a false breakout as well so uh, when a pattern gives a breakout always uh, respect the pattern targets. The pattern targets are coming at 135. At the most, you can go towards this 145, 148. That would be a slightly longer term. Mm. But keep trailing your stop losses. I would not say keep a stop loss of uh, 100 rupees and play for targets of 150. This is not the time. Any pattern, this is not the time that one should be looking for a humongous target. This is the time that uh, a breakout, mm. uh, any stock that has given a breakout should be used only for a short to medium trading. Okay, many thanks for that, Gaurav. Uh, we'll go across to our guest, uh, Dhaneshwar. Uh, REC at 190. Uh, what's your view? What should one do? Yeah, well, uh, looking at the REC chart, uh, for the short term view, uh, I could say the uh, earlier the vertical wave rally is really surprise the market and uh, outperform the key benchmark index and recently you know the stock was uh, consolidating in a tight range of uh, 119 towards 119 and 113 level and uh, uh, on yesterday's uh, day before yesterday's uh, trading session it has given a breakout and uh, I, I personally feel that the uh, stock uh, may continue to march towards the north for an initial leg of up move towards the 128 130 level okay and uh, so it's two positive views that coming in on REC uh, Brijesh, uh, what's your view on REC? Even, even I go for long on REC. Okay. Uh, for uh, one thing is that the stock has seen a strong rail from around 19 to 112, and we have seen a consolidation happening within a range of uh, around 119, 113, and it has given a strong breakout. And if you look at the uh, RSI on uh, weekly charts, uh, it has uh, gone to oversold level of around 29, 30 levels and back to above 50 levels, which is the median point. So I think uh, those who are looking for a slightly uh, medium term point of view, one should maintain a stop loss of 106 and can expect around 140, 45 levels on, on the upside. Okay, so it's, it's a consensus bullish call that's coming in. No doubt the stop losses are slightly different. Uh, uh, Gaurav spoke about 112 level strict exit, 106 is something that Rajesh spoke about. But I think the consensus that we're getting is that you know it, it's not a bad bet if you want to start accumulating uh, REC at least for the short term. Uh, we'll move on to the next talk and it's a pharma day. Dhaneshwar uh, has a, a buy call on uh, Sun Pharma. Let's pull up uh, the chart. I invite uh, Dhaneshwar to come uh, near the screen with me uh, and explain this chart. So I think it'll take a time for the chart to come but uh, uh, Sun Pharma is the stock that we're talking about. Yes the chart is here. It's all yours. Uh, just can you pull out the uh, ratio chart so I will explain yeah. uh, that much. See, uh, overall, if you look at the uh, pharma sector, so we have seen that the, since uh, 2015, the pharma sector is uh, underperforming the key benchmark index. This is a, a ratio of the Nifty Pharma versus the Nifty ratio. And we have seen that the, uh, since 2015, we can see over here the uh, pharma sector is underperforming the key benchmark index. And recently, we observed that the uh, base formation has been built up on the uh, ratio chart and we got the trend line breakout. Uh, so it suggests that the, uh, the, the, the ratio will move towards the north. It means the Nifty Pharma index may outperform the key benchmark index. Can you pull out the uh, pharma stock? 
Sun Pharma, okay. Yeah, Sun Pharma. Uh, see, if, if you look at the Sun Pharma stocks, it is exactly like an, uh, like an Pharma index. It is uh, underperforming the key benchmark index since 2015. And recently, we have seen that the bottom formation has been happened over here. And we got the uh, double bottom breakout uh, near about a level of uh, uh, 640, 630, uh, 630 level. And, uh, uh, if you if you look at the overall pharma sector so it is uh, uh, it is clearly showing it is marching towards the north and if you simultaneously look at the rsi level so rsi earlier it was trading in a bearish zone and now it has uh, come out uh, out of the bearish zone and uh, moving above the 60 so we got the breakout on the rsi also so it indicates that the rsi which eventually traveled towards the north which add the uh, strength to the underline so i personally feel uh, a trader should go for sun pharma by keeping a stop of 585 on closing basis for an initial leg of up move towards the 730 which is in the proximity of 61.8 percent retracement of the previous fall okay so 730 is probably your first target that yeah. you're seeing yes on uh, sun pharma and uh, the close has to be about this uh, so uh, i just want to understand what is this uh, yellow line and the close about it what is See, this uh, actually we got a double bottom formation over here and uh, uh, if, if you uh, calculate the previous high, so it has given a clearly breakout. So we have okay. put a, uh, a, a breakout candle as a uh, stop loss. Okay, many thanks. Uh, we'll talk about Sun Pharma. Gaurav, uh, uh, are you bullish on Sun Pharma? Absolutely. If you look at uh, after it came out with the quarterly numbers, we saw strong additions in the long portions. Rollovers have been decent. So I'm just talking about next uh, the series. But if you look at the slightly longer term, we have seen strong momentum building up. As you rightly mentioned, there's a breakout on multiple time frames, whether it is weekly or monthly chart or even a yearly chart for that matter. Yeah, the stop losses would be deep, as you rightly mentioned, that it comes to around 595-600. That is the breakout mm -hmm. level of the stock. Uh, personally, I would wait for a dip towards 630 to make a uh, risk reward in my favor. But yes, uh, a target price of 730-750 looks quite plausible. Okay, so second bullish call that's coming in on Sun Pharma. Bridges, uh, your view on Sun Pharma? Yeah, uh, its Pharma is being strong bullish and uh, Sun Pharma would again uh, be a good long bet. Uh, rightly said by Gauro, risk reward wise, I would slightly wait for a, a dip or a retest of around 615, 620 levels to go along on Sat Parma. Uh, three things on weekly charts. Uh, if you look at the weekly chart, it has given a strong uh, range breakout or uh, double bottom. Second is we have seen a strong range shift in RSI, uh, which is again a sign of a strong bullish trend and uh, MSCD giving a strong positive crossovers, and uh, which is again above the integer line. Couple of things on monthly charts. This is the first time where we have seen monthly charts. Uh, MACD giving a positive crossover in the oversold zone, and uh, RSI again uh, back from the oversold levels to uh, median level. So uh, from a longer point of view, yes, 730, 750 levels uh, could be achievable, and I would slightly bet for 620, 625 levels to go along. Okay, so I think that's the view that we're getting in. I think the consensus view is it's a bullish counter. Uh, but two of our guests do believe that wait for a slight correction, probably another 20, 30 rupees uh, before you get in, but. I think 730, 750 is the general consensus target that all three of our guests have given. Uh, move on to the next stock and that is Bharat Forge. Uh, Bridges, that's the stock that uh, uh, you've spoken about. We'll pull up the chart on uh, the big screen right now and uh, you can explain why you're bullish on it. Yeah, it's all yours. Yeah. So Bharat Forge, uh, we face look at these uh, supports that previously the stock has held a couple of supports, uh, which was again broken down uh, and the market went into consolidation. Uh, the consolidation is typical in a form of bullish uh, head and shoulder or you can say inverse head and shoulder. And uh, we have seen again, uh, if I draw this neckline, the prices have given a breakout of around 660 and uh, it has again been convincingly trading about 670, which was the previous uh, support zone. So now the uh, support turns resistance and prices is moving uh, back above the resistance level uh, so clearly indicates that's a bullish stock uh, bullish uh, trend and we think uh, targets wide around 720 730 can be expected on uh, Bharat Forge and uh, if you even if you look at these uh, RSI uh, it has given again a good momentum on the positive side and volume sales also uh, in the expiry side we have seen strong uh, momentum uh, on the Bharat Forge so I think uh, this is a good bet uh, what's the what's the time frame that you're looking at you know and what's the stock loss for this. Uh, maybe couple two three to five weeks you can expect around 720 730 levels and uh, stop loss of uh, below this uh, around 650 by 650 levels uh, could be a good bet okay so that's the view that we're getting in on bharat forge we'll get our other guest uh, involved in the discussion uh Dhaneshwar, uh, what's your view on bharat forge are you as bullish as uh, gaurav is uh, as uh, bridges is yeah, we got a uh, one more observation that the uh, if you go to the weekly chart, so we uh, clearly seen that the we got a RSI uh, trend line breakout. Uh, 
uh, intermediate trend line breakout, so uh, which eventually pushed the RSI towards the north, which add strength to the uh, underline. So I could personally feel that the Bharat Forge is good betting for them buy. Okay, what's the target and stop loss? Yeah, uh, target would be uh, see uh, uh, rightly quoting at uh, 681. So I am expecting the uh, target near about uh, 720, 730 by keeping a stop loss of 660. Okay, so similar targets and stop losses to what uh, Gaurav, to what uh, Bridget said, but Gaurav, uh, what's your view on uh, Bharat Forge? I agree, it's looking quite uh, strong. If you look at last few trading sessions, it has actually come out from nowhere and it's given a breakout on weekly charts. Uh, uh, it is almost showing a rounding bottom formation. It's bounced back from the long term averages of 6 or 5, 100 uh, weekly average. It's bounced back from those levels. Volume participation has been quite decent. So I agree with the target and stop loss, what my fellow uh, uh, participants have said. So I think uh, one can play for targets of 725, 730. Stop loss of 655, 660 is good enough. So I think it's a consensus bullish call that's coming in on Bharat Forge. And all three of our guests have similar targets as well as similar stop loss. Uh, you can expect another 50 rupee upside. Uh, 730, 740 is something that all three of a guest had indicated and uh, pretty much between 650 and 660 could be the probable stop loss that uh, you should look at Bharat Forge. So that completes the first round of uh, the recommendation. Let's move on to the next round and uh, Gaurav joins me again. He has a bullish call on uh, Siet. Uh, it's a while since uh, tyre stocks have started moving up. Uh, we'll pull up the chart and I request Gaurav to come in uh, and explain why he is bullish on uh, Siet. If you look at the monthly chart in Siet, uh, from here I think we have not drawn the line from here. If you take the trend line from here, it's been uh, taking good support, uh, it's it's uh, the trend line support comes to on these levels, this is around 12.50 odd mark. The 50 uh, monthly average is also uh, placed around uh, levels of 12.25, 12.50. And if you look at these two candles actually, these have similar uh, bottoms, it's around 12.30, it's 12.25, similar kind of uh, kind of bottom formation is there now double bottom breakout is seen if we have a close above these levels which is likely to do so we can see uh, this particular gap being filled it comes to around 700 on mark okay. so i expect uh, that there is a possibility that we may see a strong momentum coming in it may take a while uh, with all the factors that are uh, plaguing the sector there can be some more consolidation it may slip towards 1350 as well but uh, with a stop loss of 1275 1280 one can buy for uh, at least target price of uh, 1550 to 1700 so 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 the stop loss is pretty deep not in terms of percentage but in terms of value yes. uh, because you're saying that it will be another 100 rupee downside. Uh, is this an aggressive call that you're saying because let's say if someone wants to buy and if uh, uh, it's it's a more uh, uh, stable stock you can't buy in the quantity. If it's more aggressive you can just buy a larger quantity and play the stop loss that way. So that's the reason I'm asking. Agree. If you know very rarely do you see a bottom formation happening on a monthly chart. Uh, if you uh, go back a couple of months we'll see similar kind of pattern was seen in uh, Ashok Leland when it, is, uh, it came out uh, down towards level of uh, 105, 108. Hmm. We saw a bounce back coming from the monthly support channel and then it went towards level of uh, 130. Similar was the case with Jet Airways after it hmm. did not come out with quarterly numbers and it fell towards level of uh, 260 odd mark. It took the support from monthly uh, trendline support of 250 by 260, went towards 310 kind of levels. So very rarely do you see such kind of patterns coming in. This is more of a stable stock as you rightly mentioned. It can be done aggressively but if somebody wants to play for 10, 15 days, this is not the stock to go for it. If somebody can hold it for two months or maybe a little bit more than two months, then this is the stock that one should be having in the radar. Okay, so it's more of a positional call that uh, that Gaurav was saying. Probably 1700 is the target that you say, yes. which means another potential uh, 300 rupee upside. Thank you so much, Gaurav. Uh, Dhaneshwar, uh, your view on uh, CAT, are you as bullish as uh, uh, Gaurav is on the counter? Yeah, uh, of course, uh, uh, looking at the CAT uh, overall charge structure going on a lower time frame, uh, mainly on daily. So recently we have seen that the uh, it, is, it, is, it, it has given a first sign of uh, reversal signal. Uh, but uh, if you look at the daily time frame chart, so uh, 1440 could be the uh, first line of defense or I could say the intermediate resistance place. If uh, bulls manage to take out the 1440 level, so we may see the further escalation towards the north. Okay, and uh, Br uh, Brijesh, uh, your view on C8? Yeah, uh, I would go for bullish uh, on a longer time frame what Gaurav is uh, expecting. Uh, if you look at these mid-June to mid-July, we have seen a stock trading in a 12.30, 13.30 zone and with strong volumes. So slow and steady accumulation has been seen around those uh, levels and also if you look at the moving average of 200 weekly moving average, uh, market was taking support around those levels has started moving upside. Uh, probably I will slightly look for uh, 13.60, 13.50 levels to go long uh, and probably stop loss of around 12.30, uh, 12.40. 
10 30 if you want to look for a couple of months time frame and uh, probable target would be around uh, 15 50 1600 levels on the higher side okay so again a consensus buy call that's coming in on uh, on c8 all of our guests have different uh, you know buy levels but i think the general sense that we're getting in is that uh, you know c8 is a bullish call it's a stock that you probably should be accumulating uh, the next stock that we want to talk about uh, and that what janeshwar is recommending is gail let's pull up the counter uh, it's a consolidation breakout which he's saying and let's uh, janeshwar explain the chart to us yeah, uh, the, uh, if you talk about the overall charge, uh, overall uh, sector about the oil and gas, so uh, oil and gas is uh, marking positive or alpha for, uh, since 2014. Uh, the rally is basically initiated by, initiated by the BPCL and HPCL, and later on IOC has joined the party. And uh, in 2017-18, we have seen the spectacular rally into the Reliance uh, industry. And uh, you, you know, in 2018, the second half, the gale could be the morning star for the uh, oil and gas because uh, uh, this is a monthly chart. If you look at the monthly chart, so since 2011 the stock is has been consolidated in till 2017 so wide range of consolidation breakout has been happened in uh, 2017 and and after the breakout we have seen that the stock has tested the bre uh, breakout trend line and uh, you know the renewed renewed strength is clearly observed uh, on the gale industry so i could personally feel uh, 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 one can buy the gale at current market price by keeping a stop loss of uh, near about uh, 340 for an initial leg of up move towards the 470 uh, this is a monthly chart because because it, it, uh, it target is has been uh, escalated towards the 470 so one should ha have these stocks in your portfolio so it will give a return of uh, near about 30 uh, to 35 what's percent. the time frame that you're looking at for yeah, it, it, it is more upside. than two months okay it's a two month target yeah. that you're seeing and is, is it an aggressive if someone wants to look at it is it an aggressive call or it's more like a, a buy and hold type of call see if you look at the overall chart such it is a it is a monthly chart so uh, uh, those who wanted to build up a portfolio they can go for current market price and those who are uh, looking for a trading uh, trading perspective so they wait for an uh, dip to come because the risk reward ratio is very high okay so thank you so much janesh for, for that uh, uh, brijesh uh, any view on gale uh, probably uh, i would slightly stay cautious on this and probably look for buying only above 400 because uh, if we look at these uh, when prices hit previous high of around 392 and we have seen selling pressure coming around those levels but market have seen uh, the stock have seen again 390 levels but still i would slightly be cautious and would wait for a 400 levels to breach on the upside even if you look at these uh, monthly chart uh, slightly cautious is for me mscd uh, it means very much at the higher level so a slightly cool off around 350 would be a good level to go okay on. so it's a cautious view and gaurav uh, which side are you on is we got a bullish view we got a cautious view what's your view I would uh, take out a balance between the two for the reason that it has given a strong breakout and this is one name that uh, should be taken. Uh, thing is that it's not a very uh, high beta name where we can expect a 10% fall coming two or three days. It's a more of a stable counter. But yes, I would say that if it is bought around 355, 360 level, that has or even 365 that would matter, three or four percent point uh, down from the current price, it would make it more lucrative. These are the levels from where we saw some aggressive long positions getting built in the future segment. So even traders would be more comfortable buying at lower levels. So buy around 360, 365 and play for tires of 420. Okay, so that's the view that we're getting it. I think this is the first stock we don't have a consensus as far as. Uh the view is concerned but uh, buying at lower levels is probably uh, the thing that uh, two of our guests uh, believe at this point of time and the final stock that we want to discuss and that is what uh, Brijesh will discuss and that's uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank let's pull up the chart uh, uh, Brijesh uh, what's the trend it's, it's been on a continuous downtrend trend uh, what's your view on on the bank now it's one uh, one two eight one now yeah uh, if you look at the Kotak already corrected and uh, if you look at these uh, slow and steady momentum uh, which was uh, again uh, we have seen a shakeout shakeout means where the uh, bears get trapped generally uh, if you look at this momentum after a strong selling we have seen again buying picking ups and if you look at these volumes volumes uh, after the selling volumes uh, the buying volumes are again being increasing on regularly intervals mm. okay and if you look at these recent uh, higher lows this was the first time where market after corrections have made a higher lows higher highs mm. and this again i think this would probably make the uh, higher low and if you look at the candlestick this has formed a bullish engulfing and if you look at the volume downside uh, a strong volume has been seen on the bullish engulfing uh, candlesticks so this is again a strong sign of reversals with higher low and uh, if you look at this momentum where bears are being trapped uh, i guess this would be act as a strong support and even if you look on for a short term point of view this would act as a, a, a majorly a support for bulls now and one can aggressively look for longs with this stop, uh, stop loss of around 1250 1250 levels uh, with this uh, low and uh, i think uh, 
uh, for a longer time frame, uh, one can expect 1360, 13, uh, 1400 levels on the upside as well. What's the time frame that you're looking at? I would probably look for four to six weeks. Four to six weeks. So, so it's yeah. not a very, very large strategy, probably a, a strategy that you can take it as far as this expiry is concerned. Thank you so much, Brijesh. Um, uh, Gaurav, uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank, it's been rather lackluster. Should someone take a position in Kotak? For trading, one can take a position. 1275, 1280 has been more of a support area. It's trading on those levels. If these levels are conquered, we can expect some amount of momentum coming in. Not a very aggressive trade, so to speak of, but yes, we have seen momentum building up and there's a chance that it can go uh, by another 3 or 4 percentage points. I would not play for an 8 to 10 percent target, but as 3 to 4 percent up cannot be ruled out. Okay, 3 to 4 percent and uh, Janish, very quickly, we need to move to the next stock. Uh, Kotak Bank, uh, your stop loss target and your recommendation. Yeah, if you look at the uh, Kotak Bank's monthly chart, so it is moving in a clear uptrend and uh, stock has shown the very strong trend. And recently we have uh, seen that the throwback has been come. So uh, whenever the higher time frame charts are bullish, so every throwback should be capitalized and buying opportunity. One should keep a stop loss of uh, 1250 on a lower level and uh, for an initial leg of up move towards the 1330. Okay, so it's a consensus bullish call that's coming in on uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank. And the final stock of the day is uh, Mahanagar Gas in which uh, Jayesh will tell us what the chart, what the Bloomberg terminal is throwing up. So, Dashan, uh, there's a buy signal on the stochastic indicator and it's a confirmed buy signal, not even an early indication on the chart of uh, Mahanagar Gas. Uh, just to give you a, a brief background of uh, the stochastic indicator, the two lines which get plotted, uh, you know, and you have to watch out if they are near the oversold or over, overbought conditions. And, of course, uh, crossover between the two lines gives you the buy and the sell signal. Now, if you look at the bottom panel which shows you the stochastic indicator, uh, the green line is the oversold line and you can see that, uh, you know, the blue line has in fact crossed above the white line and important to note that both of them are now trading above the green line which makes it a confirmed buy signal if you go back to the chart of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the stock you can see that there was a steady decline over here and we have seen some bit of consolidation and then we see the last three bars which are green color uh, which is you know possibly the upside uh, turn that the stock is uh, looking for and historically in the last one year uh, this this strategy would have given you nearly 10% return. Okay, very quickly, uh, Gaurav, uh, MGL 855, what should one do? One should certainly buy it's a very strong stock. We had also recommended yesterday one can keep a stop loss of 840 on the upside targets of 900 to 905 is quite possible. Okay, 900 plus target, Janeshwar, uh, MGL. Yeah, after, uh, if you look at the uh, lower time frame charge mainly on uh, daily, so after a massive sell up, the stock has consolidated in an arrow range and given a breakout. So I personally feel uh, for the short term, uh, it is looking good for a buy opportunity and my target should be the uh, the gap uh, which have, uh, MGL has created, which is placed near about 900. So that should be my target. Okay, so second target comes coming in about 900 and uh, Brijesh, your final word on uh, MGL? Yeah, I would uh, definitely go for long. Uh, if you look at the uh, accumulation happening on the shorter time frame, so as per Wyckoff theory, I think uh, we have already made the stock has made a short term bottom, and uh, I think it will might take a slow and steady move, not a, a fast and furious move. But uh, definitely a previous high, which was around 200 days average of uh, around 950, uh, we might slow and steady move head uh, towards those levels. Okay, so it's the third consecutive target that we're getting in about 900. So it's a uh, it's a three thumbs up that's coming in on MGL at this point of time but we are completely timed out on hot money today Gaurav thank you so much for coming in Dhyaneshwar and Brijesh thank you so much for coming to the studios for this edition of hot money ask BQ comes up next stay tuned to Bloomberg Quint